The famous Chassid Remental Fulterfa spent 20 years in the Russian Gulag for his involvement in spreading Yiddishkeit, Judaism, in communist Russia. On one occasion, inside the prison cell, there was a card game going on, which, needless to say, was illegal. Remendel looked on as the rowdy group played like free men, causing a ruckus. As they carried on, everyone suddenly heard the cell door being unlocked from the outside. Reb Mendel watched with fright as the guard stormed in saying, there's a card game being played. But by the time Reb Mendel looked back down on the table, he was surprised to see no cards were left. The guard searched high and low, but couldn't find cards anywhere. Irritated and suspicious, the guard turned back and left the cell. Not five seconds after the guard had left, Reb Mendel looked and saw all the cards were back on the table. The men, back at their jovial game, the guard soon returned. This time, Remendel could feel the guard's determination as he opened the door with alacrity. I know there's a card game going on in here. But again, no cards were on the table and all the men were quiet. The guard performed the most thorough search, but found nothing. Furious, the guard turned and he left again. Remendel had to know. He asked his fellow prisoners, where do you keep the cards when the guard searches? A prisoner replied, you know we're professional pickpocketers. Fine. Hey, did you just take his wallet? And the only place the guard doesn't search are his own pockets. I slip the cards in his pockets when he enters, and I take them out when he leaves. Following his release, Remendel would often relate this as a muscle, a parable. Before checking someone else's pockets, their faults and imperfections, make sure you check your own.